so I'll solve the fourth problem on projection of lines in this video uh, I'll reload the problem a line PQ 85 mm long has its end P 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP the top view and front view of the line PQ are 75 mm and 85 mm respectively draw its projections also determine true and apparent inclinations of the line so here true length is given that is 85 mm uh, that is true length is represented by a dash b1 dash in the front view and a b2 in the top view so true length is given as 85 mm and top view of the line is given that is top view of the line is is represented by a b 75 mm and front view of the line is given as 80 mm so using this data we have to find out true inclinations that is theta and phi and also the apparent inclinations so alpha and beta so we'll start by drawing the xy line x this is y. this is vertical plane so this is the horizontal plane <laughs> location of the end p is given 10 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so i'll draw you can start from any convenient distance here i'll draw 10 mm above hp 10 and 15 mm in front of AP. So let's zoom this portion. So this is nothing but A dash. This is A. Okay. Next. I can check the dimensions once so this should be 15 mm and this should be 10 mm just move this okay so a dash a 10 and 15 mm so now to proceed uh, Inclinations are not given, so true length is given, top view and front view is given, but inclination is not known. So what we have to do is, uh, we'll draw the locus of A dash and A. Draw the locus of A dash and I'll draw the locus of A. Okay. So now, Top view is given and front view is given. So if you compare it with the previous problem, if you see the, pre, uh, I'll go to the first problem. See, if you see the top view, uh, even in this problem, we'll start from the top view that is 75 mm. If you see the top, if you see this arc, so this is the top view okay so it measures 69 point the radius is 69.28 so even in this problem we can take the top view and we can draw the arc similar to the first problem we can draw the arc for keeping a as center taking a b1 as radius in this problem it is 69.28 so this top view is given uh, 75 mm in the problem 4 so you can take the same radius and cut an arc here i'll show you how to do it so top view is there so go to arc by center point so taking a as center radius as 75 mm enter so i'll draw the arc approximate length okay so this arc is similar to this arc in the problem number one so this is same as this arc so now you can also start from the front view you can also take 80 mm and keeping a dash as center you can and 
taking ATM MS radius you can draw an arc here also and you can start from here also so now if you compare this with the first problem again if you see the other side of this arc you have drawn a perpendicular line so on this perpendicular line or perpendicular vertical line you will get true length this line you are getting a dash and b1 dash so I'll just draw a perpendicular line from here or a verti perpendicular vertical line like this okay so on this line you should get the true length so this is the apparent length this arc is apparent length that that, that is the top is 75 mm arc and I have drawn a vertical line so on this line you should have a true length so true length distance is, uh, length is given as 85 mm so I will now take I will go to arc by center point and keeping a dash as center I will take the radius as 85 mm and draw the arc so this point now is the true length that is this is p1 dash so i'll trim one side of the arc so that i can join a dash p dash to the end point okay so once i get b1 dash so this is the true length so i can measure this this should be 85 mm okay so once you get the true length you can draw the locus of b dash here draw the locus of b dash so that the front view is given as 80 mm so you can directly draw the front view that is 80 mm so we know that b dash and b1 dash will be on the same line so go to arc by center point keeping a dash and center front view is given as 80 mm 80 type 80 okay so i'll trim on side of the arc so that it could be you'll easily get the end point symbol so this point is nothing but the apparent length that is a dash get the end point this is b dash b dash so apparent length the front view is given as 80 mm it should be 80 mm so now once you get the apparent length i told you the ends of apparent length will be always on the same line so you can directly draw you can from b dash from b dash you can directly draw a vertical line till it cuts the arc the 75 mm arc so this point is nothing but this point is b okay so i told you the apparent length the ends of apparent length that is a a dash and b b dash will always be on the same vertical line so if you join it should be thick line point mm apparent length a b should get the section symbol here so this is the apparent length once you get the apparent length you can directly draw the locus of b and we know the we have the true length true length is given as 85 mm so you can directly go to arc by center point take the radius of 85 mm and keeping a center you can cut on the locus of b to get the true length in the top view otherwise uh, from the front view we can draw the arc 
up to locus of a dash and you can project here also that also you can do and here we know the we have the true length as 85 mm so go to arc by center point keeping here as center uh, radius as 85 mm draw an arc locus of B. So this point is B2. Line join A B2. Get the intersection symbol. Otherwise, easier thing to better thing to do is just trim the one side of the arc. A dash B2 will get the endpoint symbol. So you have to find here true inclinations and apparent inclinations. I will zoom this portion. Go to angle between. So this is true length 85. So theta is 28 degrees. Alpha, alpha is 30 degrees, and phi is 20 degrees, beta is 23 degrees. You should get these values. Okay, so that comes is, completes the fourth problem in projection of lines. Thank you.